I think for me, having Mark coach me over the last few years has just unlocked my own ability to see myself, grow myself, be myself at work in ways I probably never would have achieved. Having someone to kind of be a mirror, someone to give me shit, um, someone to kind of know what the next step is, both in terms of like, oh, my team's messed up, what's wrong, but also why am I not happy? And seeing that me being happy in myself at work is in a necessary step to me being the effective executive I could be. All of that, I think, would not have happened without, without someone like Mark, without Mark. So um, that's the value I've gotten out of it. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. I, I wanted to ask about what is really uh, inspiring you the most in terms of your personal interests on Pinterest right now. I mean, how are you continuing to be reconnected with the service that you're using? Or do you find yourself kind of re-energized whenever you go out and interact with people in a deeper way? Uh, you're in the weeds of running a business. So I'm, I'm asking about how it is. I'll, I'll go first. Yeah. What's inspiring us these days, yeah. basically, yeah. with Pinterest? Um, everything. Uh, I've been on a journey, I think, the last six months with Ben and others to kind of more deeply understand the behavior that's happening on Pinterest. You know, why is it we built an image bookmarking service that's now being used for these deeply personal, deeply emotional reasons? We didn't set out to build that. We set out to build something a little bit more utilitarian. And so learning about, you know, the relationship the eye and images play and helping you understand what your dreams are and images are almost a language of dreams and that we're building a tool to help. All of that, understanding the underlying psychology has really motivated me and given me a lot more ideas, I think, for how we can make both the products we're building and the stories we're telling uh, deeper and more in line with the purpose we have as a company. So that's been really inspiring, that journey, which is still going right now. Mm -hmm. How about you, Ben? You've hired a lot of people since then. What, what would you wish you knew, and I know there's uh, always a long list when I ask this question, what, what, what would you wish you knew about bringing other people into the dream that you wish you knew when you started out doing this work that you've learned on the, in the process? Well, I'll go first. Um, I mean, I think we're still learning. I don't think you ever stop learning about that one, who you need, um, you know, how you find the right leaders, put them in the right role, give them the right authority, but not too much authority so that you still know what's going on and balance that with all of the cultural values you're trying to. So I'm just stating the problem, not the solution. Um, you know, I think um, most of the biggest improvements we've made to Pinterest have been people. I've been hiring people or taking a bet on somebody or giving them a clear goal and asking them to hit it. And that speaks obviously to the importance of culture and it's the most number one thing I think for us at the company is building the right culture and the right team to make the product great. Yeah, I mean, there are a couple things that, that I remember like learning the hard way, I would say. Um, you know, one is um, there's sort of good experience where you have to hire someone that's done it before and there's bad experience where someone who's done it before thinks they know how to do it, and so they're just going to apply basically their playbook every time. How are you thinking differently about designing things to be useful to people in the, in the ways that, they, that you have come to understand that they wanted to be treated and, and engaged in, in your service? Uh, how are you thinking about that these days in terms of design? Well, first I'd say I think of myself as much designing the company these days as I do designing the product. Maybe that sounds a little cliche, but... Um, I think as an architect, you know, you're kind of taught to build a house and then be done. It's sort of this beginning and end process. And then at the end, you take a photo of the building and put it on your portfolio. But the company never ends, obviously. And so uh, the metaphor we've been using is, is much more like a garden. And I found that really useful, thinking about how you design an environment in which people can grow and be nurtured. And you also have to trim the garden and pull the weeds. And, that mindset and that kind of relationship with the company as a designer has been really fruitful the last year, I would say. And when it comes to users, it's not dissimilar. Um, you know, Ben and I have been about to go on a trip in two weeks to his hometown in Iowa to kind of meet with some users and talk to them about the phone and the internet and Pinterest, what they love, what they hate. But so we've made a concerted effort to literally just spend more time with users and talk to them and learn from them and take those insights seriously and treat every single user's individual experience with kind of the reverence it deserves and bring those back to the company. And, and I think, you know, trying to build a positive place online that's inspiring, it gives you energy, gets you offline, connects you to what you love is a really valuable thing given the scale we're at these days online.